Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our first installment of It's a Keeper Travel Diaries Food Explosion. We're here at Tall Boy's Conk Stall, and he's located on the eastern area of the island of New Providence in an area called Portage Key Dock, or affectionately known as Under the Bridge. Tall Boy has agreed to show us his expert skills in making his world famous tropical conk salad. And as he is saying here, we are going to want to just take pictures of this. We don't even want to eat it after this is done because it's going to look so gorgeous. He's pretty much saying it's gonna be something that we'd like to put in our freezer and freeze and save forever. He calls it a food decoration or a food figurine, he likes to call it. So he's starting off with the onions and now he's peeling the tomatoes. And this is my first time seeing the, pe the tomatoes being peeled, but I'm not always around conch salad, bear in mind, even though I'm a Bahamian, I don't eat a lot of conch salad, but I love it, especially since the induction of this delicious, flavorful, awesome thing called tropical conch salad. So now he's adding the tomato to the mix and slicing it up with some handy, artistic, skillful knife action. So now we have the onions, tomatoes, and he's about to add some sweet pepper or green pepper, whatever you want to call it. He has his little zinc on the side and he's washing off his sweet pepper and that's always a plus when I come to an outside stall to see a fresh running water but uh, I know that it doesn't really affect the flavor. Now this is creative because he's actually cutting up the sweet pepper and my instinct tells me that this is pretty much to use for decorations for the final product. So I'm going to watch out for it and I'm even more intrigued as to how this is going to play out. I'm watching him and you can see he's paying a lot of attention to detail and doing an awesome job making what I'm sure is some decorations for the tropical count salad end result. So bear with us as we go through this because it's going to be worth the wait, I'm sure. It's going to be worth the wait. So he's gotten all he's needed from that and now he's going to put the rest of this into the mix by doing a quick chop up of it. So we are now on to the third ingredient, onions, tomatoes, and now the green peppers. So it is a visually appealing meal as well as tasty. And everyone knows that if it looks good, it has to taste good, right? But something about food that is colorful or artistically decorated that just sings to the palate of a foodie. And so this is one of those meals that definitely is. Now he's peeling a mango nice mango he's peeling and now about to chop up to add to the mix so this is good stuff I like mangoes and in the Kong salad it just gives that mix of because looking at it it's not a fully sweetened ripe mango so I'm sure I it will have that tart flavor that's mixed with the sweet, so it's like a tangy sweet flavor mixed together. And now he's adding some red apples to the mix. So again, we have another mix of a different type of sweet to the mix, and now the pineapples. Pineapples, not only uh, is it 
tasty, but it's actually one of, of one of the very perfect foods. It's so good for you. So adding that into the mix is always a plus. Okay, so again, he's using the same knife skills and chopping this up. I would kill for mad skills like this with my knife. I am still an amateur when it comes to that. So now he's getting the lime and as you see here he's washing the conch but not only that he's using the lime to take off some of that slime because most of you who do know about conchs and if you don't it's a snail pretty much so it has that slime to it so he's getting that all out and now according to him he is using this knife scorching technique to actually tenderize the conch and the conch is so plump and juicy and white and you can almost see it is so fresh it just has that look about it that it just came out of the ocean so I, I love that he's using some extremely fresh conch you can see it, it it's like almost still alive almost look at it look at it it's it's like just jumping up off of and around that knife I love it so he's getting the conch nice and chopped up into small pieces which makes it easier for you to eat when it all comes down to it so we now have the pile steadily growing and it's nearing the end because the conch is usually the peste de resistance of the conch salad because it's called a conch salad and so he is now adding a little bit of the sea salt to it and per Tamara's request we have a tinsy wincy bit of Scott bonnet pepper or gold pepper as we call it here in the Bahamas but it's so small and so little that she's scared of pepper so we're just gonna have that little teeny 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 bit of spice added to this savory sweet tart mixture of vegetables and oh I can't wait to taste it it just looks amazing if you haven't tried con salad, my friends, you must try it. It is an awesome product that you can come to the Bahamas and not try. And I strongly suggest that you try it from a Bahamian at a con stand or a con stall. Not in a restaurant, not in a... It has to be, it's like something about the outside. If you get a con salad from the outside, it's just better. So don't let anyone try to put some in a bucket pre-made and give it to you. No, you want to get out here and get that fresh air. Mind you, out here is extremely hot, but you can't. All of it is a part of the experience. So I would say don't, don't get it from inside. Get it from outside. And I strongly recommend just by looking at his skills and his presentation tall boy he he takes pride in his work and it's nothing like somebody who is humble but yet efficient and experienced and passionate about what he does and i can see it in him and hear it in him that he loves what he's doing and he has taken the time out to perfect the art of tropical conch salad making with his unique flair, with his unique put on it. And so right now he's gearing up to the end and I am seeing him start to use some of the products that he cut up a little earlier. So here he's making that flour out of the tomato that I figured he would use earlier to make some type of decoration. So that's good stuff. And now those pieces of green pepper or sweet pepper that he had earlier is also being used. And they prepared to be the leaves of the flower which is quite interesting 
and creative, a true artist at work. Now he's not going to stop with just the sweet pepper and tomato decoration, but he's also adding some slices of orange to the mix. Very thinly sliced. By the way, for those of you who don't know, orange is a bread freshener. And as you know, conch is not one of the most sweet smelling things to eat, especially mixed with the onions and all of this flavor. So when you have someone like this put an uh, orange on it, I suggest that you just take that orange and eat everything the peel included and it just cleanses the palate so it gives you a nice fresh smelling breath after after trying this awesome tasty savory spicy oh you have to taste it to 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 really really understand what i mean but it's an awesome product and he's now using this the lime and the orange slices to garnish for the finishing touches on his tropical kong salad using his own original finishing touches so it's a sight to behold and it's obvious that he's putting some thought into it into creating and embellishing what makes his kong salad unique so you can go other places and get kong salad but i fear that you're not going to see one make made exactly like this but everyone has their own take and some people apparently share resources and they use each other's techniques but it's all in in, in fair fair competition so if I take what you have, and you will see me throwing down, because after I've watched enough of these, I want to try my version of it and get some honest opinion. Oh my goodness, is that not lovely? Did he not live up to his word? That is awesome. It's certainly a masterpiece. And I can't say it any different. He was right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next installment. Annyeong!